There's an old saying at closing time. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. As the city of Denver prepares to discharge migrant families from shelters next Monday, they're putting a new twist on that saying. You can't stay here. You can't be homeless. And no, we might not have a home for you. Next week, we will begin, we will begin again the discharges for families. In front of city council, it's clear the plans are made and they're not changing. If we were to have to sustain this level, um, it, it is unsustainable from a staff perspective, from a space perspective, and certainly from a financial perspective. Evan Dreyer from the mayor of we Denver's have, office made it clear. Yeah. Starting Monday, hundreds of migrant families living in shelters will begin being discharged one by one. 743 families in total, according to advocates. We are doing everything that we possibly can to avoid encampments. But the questions in this room don't always lead to answers. Like what happens when someone is kicked out of the shelter without a plan to get housing? If people begin to form a camp, um, will they be asked to sort of move along without a destination? Will they be allowed to remain together? What happens then? Yeah. The city says they won't allow people to camp on the streets. Outreach is the only answer so far. We're continuing to do really intensive outreach if an encampment forms, working with people on the ground in an encampment to try to provide them with as many options as possible. I'm deeply concerned. I think we have stretched our city resources to the limit. Sarah Parity is a city council member at large. She worries the cycle will continue, pushing migrants in and out of shelters in and out of homelessness. So my biggest fear is that this month, as we discharge hundreds of people from um, from city hotel shelters, that people will not have available housing, will not have another shelter that has space for them, um, and that they will end up in, in a situation of unsheltered homelessness in tents on the street. Every day there are new questions. On Monday, we'll see if there are answers to keep people off the streets. We are trying to intervene and prevent people from ending up on the street as much as we can.